Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and in this one we are going to build an RBMK reactor which will not explode in your face as soon as you put the fuel rods in it. So this is the RBMK that we are going to be building and not only this but we will also check out this fully functional RBMK crane which can be used to load and unload fuels in the RBMK reactor. Now this setup here will produce around 3 million HEs per tick so that's a lot of power and yeah make sure to stick around till the end of this video if you want to learn how to use this crane like I'm using right now in order to load and unload fuel in the RBMK reactor. So yeah without any further ado my guys let's get straight into it. So the materials you will need in order to build this are 4 moderated fuel rods, 5 steam channels, 12 control rods, 8 tungsten carbide neutron reflectors and also 8 structural columns. Now you will also need 5 steam connectors and any temporary block. So take your temporary block and come 3 up from the ground and on the third one place down a steam channel. Now surrounding this steam channel place down 4 control rods. 3 and the fourth one. Now in the corners that you have just created, place down 4 fuel rods and make sure that these are the moderated fuel rods and not the normal ones otherwise your reactor won't work properly. And the fourth one. It's now time to place down some more steam channels. So place one on each side like this. 3 and 4. Now beside each steam channel that we just placed, place down 2 control rods so one and two and now do that on all the four sides one two one and two and finally this last side there we go one and two there we go now it's time to place the neutron reflectors so that our reaction can be completed so place down two neutron reflectors in front of the control rods that you just placed two and do that on all the four sides and here we go now in all the remaining spaces the corners that we have created place down structural columns you will need a total of eight one two three four five six seven and finally the eighth one and with that the design of the RBMK is complete. Let's go over it one more time. 5 steam channels, 4 fuel rods and 12 control rods along with 8 neutron reflectors. So this is how your RBMK should look like. Now it's time for some piping. So connect some water ducts from the steam channels that you have placed and also connect them internally like this. Going to out and do that on all the sides and here goes the last one now beneath each of the steam channels that we have placed let's place down our steam connectors so we'll need a total of five steam connectors and the last one and from down the steam connectors on the most lower block place down your ultra dense steam pipes as we are going to produce ultra dense steam using this reactor and also connect them like we connected the water ducts on the outermost block like this and finally the last one there we go with the piping done now it's time to set all the rbmk steam channels to produce ultra dense steam so here's the third rbmk steam channel fourth and finally the fifth one now also don't forget to set each and every rbmk control rod to a specific color i'm gonna go with red color here but you can select any color you want to just make sure that all the control rods are on the same color so that we can control all of them at the same time and the last one now in order to double check that whether we set all the control rods or not i am going to link this rbmk with an rbmk console so here it goes and now 
when I go in this console and select this color red, it should select all the 12 control rods. So we have done that properly. Now cover all the four fuel rods with the glass panel and all the other rods with the RBMK panel. Now you don't have to worry about radiation in this reactor as it won't leak out any. I have tested it and yeah, it will work perfectly without placing any radiation absorbers whatsoever. Now it's time to set up the water supply. So place down a tank. I'm gonna use the biggest tank here and place down an infinite water barrel in it and connect it like this with the RPMK reactor. So here goes the heavy infinite water tank and make sure to set this water tank to input output mode. Now as soon as you do that, all the steam channels in our RBMK reactor should fill up with water and we can see that using the console right here. So as you can see, all the uh, steam channels have filled up with water. Now let's take out the output steam. So place down four Leviathan steam turbines. It's preferred that you use the Leviathan so that there is no blockage of steam anywhere in the system so three and finally the fourth one you will need total of four turbines to do this there we go here okay so the first steam turbine is gonna be processing ultra dense steam so take out the ultra dense steam pipe and connect it to the first turbine like this and also set it up to ultra dense steam now it will be converted to super dense steam. So take out super dense steam pipe going into the second turbine and set this turbine to super dense steam like this, which will then be converted into dense steam. So the dense steam pipe goes into the third turbine like this, set it up and the dense steam will be converted to normal steam, which is by default, the default state of Leviathan steam turbine. Now take out your condensed steam pipe or low pressure steam pipe from the fourth turbine and bring it all the way back like this because we will now connect this low pressure steam into our cooling tower which will condense it into water thus giving us a closed loop so once we are nearly halfway there place down your cooling tower i'm gonna use an auxiliary cooling tower here you can use the big cooling tower if you want to and from there bring out some water pipes going into our biggest tank here and with this our loop is completed so now we have completed our rbmk setup here and we are ready to run it. now one thing that you need to remember is this is ultra dense this is super dense this is dense and this is normal steam don't mess this up otherwise it will jam your entire system and that is never good also yeah Make sure that this tank is set to input output mode. That is pretty important as well. Now in order to start producing power from the RBMK reactor, the very first thing you will need to do is pull out all the control rods by 20%. So select the red group, type in 20 and press on the save button and that should pull out all the control rods by 20%. Now when you are using medium and rich plutonium, you can even run this reactor at 50% but it is best to run it at 20% as 20% is an optimum value for producing ultra dense steam in this case. If you are using a different fuel, you will need to pull out the control rods in a different manner. But yeah, when we are pulling out the control rods by 20%, the skin temperature should go up to 855 degrees Celsius when it has reached stability. So for now, you can see that the temperature is going up slowly. And as soon as this temperature reaches 600 degrees Celsius, we will start producing ultra dense steam. So let's wait for it. It should happen real soon now. And there we go. So we have started producing ultra dense steam and that means all our turbines have started rotating. Now, one thing that I forgot to do here was to actually take out the power from the turbines. So for that, you will need some cables and some energy storage blocks. As I'm in creative, I'm gonna use the spark energy storage block, but you can use the lithium ion one or yeah, basically whatever you want to use. So connect all the turbines via cable and then just place down an energy storage block. So using the medium enriched plutonium as the fuel, it will give you around 3 million HE per second. Now that is quite a lot of power. 
now you do not need to worry about this reactor exploding as as you can see here my reactor has achieved stability and all the uh, all the rods all the fuel rods are at around 855 degrees centigrade so yeah this reactor won't explode at least in this update it won't and yep so this was the rbmk setup that i wanted to show you guys it will run smoothly and now let's see how to use the crane so in order to use the crane you will need an rbmk storage column a new block that was added now in this storage column we will place new medium and rich plutonium rods so i'm gonna place six of them and now we will link this rbmk to the rbmk crane column or the crane console sorry not the column but it is best to use this uh, console at a height where you can see where the crane is going so once i am at this comfortable height here take the rbmk console linking device and right click on the rbmk basically the same step that you use in order to link the rbmk to the rbmk console so shift right click on the rbmk and then right click on this crane console here and as you do that a crane will appear on top of the rbmk reactor now in order to start using this crane you need to stand on top of this console yeah you need to stand on top of it and then start pressing the arrow keys so using the four arrow keys you can move the crane in four direction and in order to pull out any fuel rod just press enter so let's say that i want to pull out the fuel rod from this column right here so I will press enter when my crane is on top of it. So this is the fuel rod that we want to pull up. So bring your crane on top of it and just press enter. And there we go. The crane has pulled out the fuel rod from that section here. Now bring your crane to the storage section and press enter again in order to deposit this fuel rod. Now in order to confirm whether this worked or not, let's go to our console. And as you can see, this fuel column is empty. We have taken out the fuel rod from this column right here. And we have stored it in the storage section. So there you can see, this is a used fuel rod. Now let's replace this with a new fuel rod. So one second, press enter, and that will load up a new fuel rod. As, okay, hold on. Yeah, you can see that we have, we are missing one fuel rod and that fuel rod is now inside the crane so it will basically prioritize the order in which you place the rods so that is important now bring your crane back to the fuel channel that you want to place it and then one second press enter and we have successfully replaced the old fuel rod with a new fuel rod as you can see in the console right here so yeah guys that is how you use the rbmk crane in order to basically change fuel rods from a distance which is very aesthetic and very cool in my opinion so yeah that was all i had for this video guys i hope you guys liked it if you did do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this peace out my guys stay safe